figure shows a roll of steel beam if an unsymmetrical eye section if the maximum bending stress in the beam section is not to exit for tmpa find the moment find the moment which the beam can resist first of all write down the given data for that okay. so the beam can resist a 40 mpa that is means sigma b dash sigma b maximum bending stress it is given okay that is means sigma b max it will be given sigma b max is equal to it is 40 mpa mpa means it is in newton per mm square okay first of all calculate the yb y, y bar that is y bar from the bottom okay so this one is x axis this one it is x axis for the i beam okay so we'll take all the dimension from this axis okay so this section it will be divided into three parts first it will be bottom flange then second one it will be wave and third one it will be top flange okay so this section it is divided into three parts this i section it is divided into three rectangular parts okay so y bar is equal to we know that it is a1 y1 a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by divided by a1 a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay. so this is y bar equation okay so a1 it is area of bottom flange rectangular shape okay so this one it is width it is 200 depth it is 50 mm into y1 it will be measured from the so this one it is x axis so this distance it will be y1 means 50 by 2 cj of this depth that is 50 by 2 it will be 25 mm 25 mm then plus a2 it will be area of wave okay wave area it is 50 into 50 into 50 into 200 then y2 okay so y2 it will be how much this it will be measured from cj of this wave okay so first of all this 50 plus 200 divided by 2 so 50 plus 200 divided by 2 it will be 150 mm y2 it will be 150 mm then a3 area of top flange 100 into 50 mm 100 into 50 mm so 100 into 50 mm then now cj of this center so first of all this addition then plus 50 by 2 so this 150 plus 200 250 plus 250 plus the cj of this 50 depth means it will be 250 plus 25 250 plus 25 25 is 275 mm 275 mm okay so this one it is cj of this okay then y1 plus y2 plus y2 okay so it will be y1 it will be 200 200 into 50 then plus 50 into 200 then plus 150 150 into sorry third one it is 100 into 50 100 into 50 100 into 50 a3 it is 100 into 50 it will be get yb from this relation okay so 200 into 50 into 25 plus 50 into 200 into 150 and plus 100 into 50 into 275 divided by 200 into 50 plus 50 into 200 plus 100 into 50 it will be get 125 mm 125 mm okay so 125 mm draw the neutral axis of this beam okay. draw the neutral axis so neutral axis of this beam it is this one it is neutral axis this is when it is neutral axis. So YB it will be how much? YB it will be bottom CG. Bottom from the it will be CG. YB it will be 125 mm. So this one it is 125 mm. Okay. So now YT from the top, top flange to neutral axis. That is total depth. YT is equal to it will be total depth. Overall depth it is 50 plus 200 plus 50. It will be 
300 mm 300 minus 125 300 minus 125 will be how much 300 minus 125 will be 175 mm 175 mm 175 so this distance will be 175 mm. 175 mm okay so y10 y bar we to be calculated y10 yb okay so now calculate moment of inertia moment of inertia by the law of parallel axis moment of inertia moment of inertia okay so law of parallel axis i axis is equal to summation of summation of ig plus a square okay summation of ig plus a square okay ig plus a h square a h square okay a h square okay a h square so now apply the law of parallel axis. I axis is equal to so first it will be considered is bottom flange that is B it is B D cube by 12. So B it is 200 and D it is 50 cube. B D cube by 12. B D cube by 12. So it will be divided by 12 divided by 12 plus plus. So we need to apply parallel axis for each section. So IG is BD cube by 12, 200 into 50 by 12. So area for bottom flange it is 200 into 50, 200 into 50 into H1. Now we need to H1 for this. H1 is equal to it will be H1 it will be YB minus Y1, YB minus Y1. Okay. So YB it will be 125 minus Y1 it will be 50 by 2 it will be 25. So it will be get. 100 mm, 100 mm, okay. So into 100 square, it will be into 100 square. H square means, H1 square means it is 100 square, okay. Then plus, now wave, now consider for wave. For wave, it will be BD cube by 12. So B it is here 50, 50 into 200, 200 cube, 50 into 200 cube divided by 12, divided by 12. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Then plus plus A2 it will be 50 into 400. 200 into now H2. We need to calculate H2 is equal to YB minus Y2. YB minus Y2 is equal to YB it will be YB it will be 125 minus y2 now y2 it will be 50 plus 100 50 plus 200 divided by 2 it will be 100 50 plus 100 it will be 150 mm 150 mm so it will be get minus 25 minus 25 minus 25 okay so that is minus minus means we are doing here square that is means in bracket minus 25 square so it will be get automatically plus value because of square bracket square okay because of bracket square, it will be get plus value. Okay. Then now third, third top flange. For top flange, it is B it is 100 and D it is 50. 100 into 50 cube, 100 into 50 cube divided by 12. 100 into 50 cube divided by 12. Divided by 12. Okay. Divided by 12. Then plus, plus. A3 it is 100 into 50. Then H3, we need to calculate H3 value. H3 value, it will be YB, YB minus Y3, YB minus Y3. So YB, it will be 125 minus Y3, it will be 50 plus 200, 250 plus 50 by 2. Yes, it is 275 mm, 275 mm. So, 125 minus 175 it will be minus 50 so minus 50 square so it will be in bracket in bracket minus 50 square minus 50 square okay minus 50 square okay minus 50 square so it will be get i x x is equal to i x x is equal to so first of all, calculate 
first part which is 200 into 50 cap C divided by 12. It will get 2.083. 2.083 into 10 raised to the power 3. Then plus plus 200 into 15 to 100 square. It will be get 100 into 10 raised to the power 6. 100 into 10 raised to the power 6. Then plus then plus for third 15 to 400 cube divided by 12 15 to 400 cube divided by 12 it will be 33.3 into 10 to the power 6 33, 33 into 10 to the power 6 then plus plus 15 to 400 minus 25 square it will be get this one value 6.25 into 10 to the power 6 6.25 into 10 to the power 6 Then plus third one it is hundred into hundred into fifty cap three divided by twelve. It will be one point zero four one six. One point zero four one six into ten raised to the power six. Then plus last one it will be hundred into fifty square. Hundred into fifty into fifty square. This one value it will be. Hundred into fifty into hundred into what is this value can be one twenty five minus two seventy five. So this value is one twenty five. H three value is one twenty five. H3 is equal to, I will write down one thing, H3 is equal to, H3 is equal to, so H3 it is YB minus Y3, YB minus Y3, okay, so YB it will be how much, YB it will be 125 minus, 125 minus Y3, Y3 it is 50 plus 200 plus 50 by 2, means 250 plus 25, it is 275, 275. 125 minus 275. It will be 1 minus 150. Now minus 1. So this value to be get. So 15 200 yeah, 3 divided by 12. So 50 point 100 into 50 cap. 50 cap 3 divided by 12. 1.0. Okay. So 100 into 50 into 150 square. It will be 112.5. This value will be actually 150. So this one is 150 square. Okay. 150 square. It will be here. Last one it will be 112.5 into 10 to the power 6. Limit I access is equal to from this I access is equal to 2.086 plus 33.3 sorry 2.083 plus 100 plus 33.33 plus 6.25 plus 1.0416 plus 112.5 so it will get 255.206 255.206 204 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4. So this one it is moment of energy. Okay. Moment of energy. Okay. So I will write down here. I access is equal to it will be 255, 255.204 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4. Okay. So now calculate Moment section modulus. Okay, section modulus. Calculate the section modulus. So YB YB is greater than YB is greater than greater than YT. YB is greater than YT. So so take take 
y b is equal to y bar. Okay. Y b is sorry, y t is greater than y b. Sorry, y t is greater than greater than y b. So okay, y t is equal to y. Y t is equal to y. Okay. So for section modulus. Section modulus, section modulus, section modulus, z is equal to it is z is equal to z is equal to i by one, z is equal to i by one, i by one, z is equal to i by one, z is equal to i by one, i by one. So i it is now two fifty five. Two fifty five point two zero four into ten to the power six divided by y it is how much y it is one seventy five y it is it is one seventy five mm one seventy five okay so now it will be get section modulus it will be two fifty five into ten to the power six divided by one seventy five it will be get one point four five. One point four five, one point four five eight three, eight three into ten to the power six mm cube, mm cube. Okay. So this one it is section modulus. Okay. So we need to calculate, find the moment which the beam can resist. Okay. So we know that sigma b max is equal to bending stress equation from which it is sigma b max is equal to it will be m by z, m by z, m divided by z. So this relation it is from the moment bending stress equation. Okay, m by j. So m is equal to it will be m is equal to it will be sigma b max sigma b max into into j. Okay, into j. So sigma b max it is forty mp. Sigma b max it is forty mp into j. It is one point four five eight three. Into ten to the power three, ten sorry ten to the power six. So it will be get moment resistance one forty into one point four five eight three into ten to the power six. So it will be get fifty eight point fifty eight point three three two into ten to the power six newton m m newton m m. Okay. So section modulus will be m is equal to now m is equal to now. M is equal to now. M is equal to it will be fifty eight point three three two in kilo newton meter. Kilo newton meter. Okay. So this one, the moment which the beam can resist. The moment which the beam can resist. Okay. For given I section, given unsymmetrical I section, when the bending stress is not exceed forty mp. Okay. 